So I've got a bit of a collection here of different shoes that I run for my flat pedal adventures. Now we've got the Impact at the start, we've got the Impact Pro, we've got the Freerider Pro, and we've got the Impact VXI at the end there. So first of all, I'll touch on the Impact because I haven't done a review on them yet. These shoes are the best out of all of these, best out of any flat pedal shoes I've used. They're strong, they're robust, they're super comfortable, and the grip, the grip's the best, the best you can get. So this standard stealth rubber with the original stealth dotty pattern, there's literally nothing better. I thought that when I got these, that this in-betweener dot was gonna make, a, make things even better again, but it turns out it just creates a little bit less traction than these. Uh, they're as good, if not better, than the Freerider Pro for grip. They're better than the Stealth MI6 that comes on the Impact VXI, but they're not as good as the Standard Impact with the Dotty. So the Standard Impact has got a nice thick sole, so you feel a little, feel like you're standing a little higher on the pedals. Super comfortable. The toe protection on the Impact versus the Impact Pro. So a little bit less toe protection on the Impact. The Impact Pro has definitely got the best toe protection. It almost feels like a steel cap. So uh, if you're looking for foot protection, your Impact Pro is the go. It's a little bit lighter than the Impact as well. Freerider Pro is obviously lighter again with good toe protection. But as you can see here, if you've got aggressive pedals and you ride aggressively, you're just chewing them out. So they didn't last long at all. Um, I got a couple of months riding out of them before they before they tore, so you can see there. You just get water as soon as you step in a puddle, you get wet socks. It's no good. So the the Freerider Pro is an excellent shoe, but they don't last very long, so I'm not impressed. They need a thicker sole. Impact VXI. Uh, this is the Stealth MI6 rubber, so it's a slightly different rubber. They say it's softer. Uh, if you have a look at the the pattern, the dotty pattern, compared to the standard Stealth. Ah, uh, sorry, compared to the standard, yeah, the standard Stealth rubber. They're smaller dots. And I don't know if that that's what affects it, but they're not quite as grippy. They don't feel quite as grippy as the the uh, standard impact sole. And once again, they don't last very long. So these shoes probably had maybe three months of riding, and they're starting to starting to peel up. Um, I've got another set of these. That also did probably three months of riding. And look at that, they're just chewed out. Not good, so. Uh, Impact VXI. Not really, not really a fan. They're super light. They're the same weight as the Freerider Pro. Well, they feel the same weight as the Freerider Pro. So, just a little bit more robust and a little bit more foot protection and definitely a little bit more ankle protection. So you put them next to each other. Uh, similar, similar on the ankle protection actually, but they definitely feel like when you've got them on, there's a little more protection there. So back to the impact, they're definitely the best. So rough stuff, your feet are glued, uh, sprinting, your feet are glued, everything feels really, really good. Now I've heard some people say that a good, in, a good uh, combo with the impact and a great pedal will feel like you clipped in. Now, being clipped in is a completely different feeling. Being clipped in is being clipped in. When you lift your foot, the pedal comes with you. Uh, when you slip your foot, the pedal stays exactly where it is. Uh, when you say you're climbing up something and you have that little slip where the back wheel lets go, uh, if you're clipped in, you're staying clipped in. Whereas the impacts, they will move. Uh, you now you can get your foot off whenever you want. But the grip's phenomenal. I've, I run the uh, Nuke Proof uh, Horizon pedals, and these things are 
just ridiculous. They're really, really good. So I haven't ridden on impacts for years and years. I've been doing the Impact Pro, the Freerider Pro, the VXI, the Freerider Contact, and the standard Freerider for the last few years. Now, my other favorite shoe is kind of between the 510 Impact Pro, because it's a little bit lighter, uh, but the Freerider, the standard Freerider has the better grip. The standard Freerider has identical grip to what the Impact has, but doesn't last as long. And they're a lighter shoe to wear, so they're more casual and more, more friendly to wear just on your, your everyday travels. But if you want uncompromised grip and really, really good protection, it feels, so the whole shoe just, just feels thicker. So this, this here, that's a lot thicker. All your protection around your heel and your ankle, uh, even inside the foot, so all of this stuff here is thick. Everything's quite thick on the inside. I do recommend getting some waterproof spray and just dousing them with waterproof spray because you will get water through all of this stuff, especially the tongue. So soak them with waterproof spray, get them, get them really good, and these things will last a year. You will get a year out of shoes like this. So for me, my next pair of shoes will be the same. They'll either be the Impacts or the standard free riders. So all of these side projects impact pro is really good free rider pro i won't buy again and the vxi definitely won't buy again they just chew out too quickly you don't get your money's worth when you're paying 100 and between 150 and 200 dollars for a pair of shoes you want more than three months out of them so that's kind of my overview of all of the shoes that i ride plus uh my thoughts on the king the impact if you're on the best shoe and pedal combo, impact, standard impact with some DMR volts or some race face pedals or some uh, new proof pedals, they're all killer. They're all really good. So, flat pedals win medals. <laughs>